Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for their LEGO Ninjago video. In this video, we're counting down the top 10 LEGO Ninjago Ninja minifigures. Practically every season of Ninjago, we get one or two new minifigure variants of each of the ninja, so clearly there has been a crazy amount of ninja minifigures that have been produced since Ninjago's launch in 2011. However, only 10 of them could make this list, so be sure to stick around for the entire video so you guys can see which ninjas made it. If you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to let me know with a like rating down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Remember that my list may be different than yours, so be sure to comment your guys' favorite ninja minifigures that we've gotten for Ninjago down below in a comment. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Number 10 Starting off this list is none other than the original Kai minifigure from 2011. This was the very first edition of Kai that we ever got. This guy came in five sets back in 2011, including the Ninja Ambush set, Blacksmith Shop, Garmadon's Dark Fortress, the Small Dragon Flight Polybag, as well as his Spinner set for the wave. With saying that, this minifigure was certainly not a rare figure to get your hands on, however he was one of the most desirable in the wave, since he was basically the main face of Ninjago at the time, quite literally and figuratively, he was on the boxes on the top right hand corner, and these sort of pilot episodes that we got kind of revolved around him and his journey meeting the other ninja, meeting Sensei Wu, and that sort. This minifigure rocks the original printing on the torso and legs, as well as that ninja wrap on the very top, with the clip on the back where you could attach a sword back in the day. Number 9 at number 9, it just so happens we have a minifigure of Kai's sister. We have Nia here, and this is Deep Stone Nia, but basically it was the first edition of Nia we got as her as a ninja instead of Samurai X. This was in the possession season of LEGO Ninjago around 2015. This minifigure came in two sets at the time, the final flight of Destiny's Bounty and, most notably, the Temple of Erjitsu. That is an amazing set, but also quite expensive. I personally love the color combinations present in this minifigure of sort of the darker red, the light blue, and those gold accents. The shoulder pads accent it very nicely as well. But let's not forget about the newer version of Nia that we have. For Legacy in 2019, we got this version here in which it's very similar to this older version from Possession. The color schemes are very similar. It's got that golden dragon on the torso, which I find really cool. But as far as which one's better, I'm not exactly sure. They're very, very close in ranking for for me, and that's why I've included a poll on the top right hand corner of the screen right now. Go vote for your guys' favorite between these. Which one of these Nia minifigures is a better printed fig? Number 8. Coming in at number 8, we have Cole RX, which was a minifigure from Day of the Departed in 2016. Although the TV special of Day of the Departed isn't necessarily everyone's favorite, this minifigure that came from the line of sets certainly is. This minifigure only came in one set, which was the Rock Rotor set. This set also came with Lil Nelson, you guys may know. And as far as the attributes of this figure, the one thing that really makes it stand out, not only the awesome printing on the torso, but those translucent arms. That's crazy, we have both of them, and they both have side arm printing on them as well. This is one of the only figures we've ever gotten for Ninjago that utilizes those semi-transparent arm pieces. So that's a really cool feature of this figure that is not apparent in many other Ninjago figures. Number 7. Up next is the version of Zane for the Tournament of Elements season in 2015, more specifically as the Titanium Ninja. This version of the Nindroid is certainly unique and came in two different sets, first being the Titanium Dragon and the second one actually being a LEGO Dimensions Fun Pack in which that was a very easy and affordable way to get this figure if you did not already have him at the time. Some of my favorite designs are those shurikens that are tucked into his ninja belt as well as the attention to detail on his ninja wrap on the very top. You can see those three screws on either side of that sort of star on the very top. Those screws are some interesting printing that LEGO did not need to do, but they took the extra step and initiative to do so. Number 6 
Here at number six, we have a more recent minifigure. This is the remake of the Golden Ninja, came from the Golden Dragon set in Ninjago Legacy. This is a 2019 minifigure, so like I said, pretty recent, and it's definitely a fan favorite. I mean, look at that awesome printing there on the torso and legs. It's got some exquisite detailing there of the dragons on it, as well as the tails, and as well as just the overall appearance. I mean, who doesn't like a gold minifigure? This guy is pearl gold, and even his head is gold all the way around. You can see his his green eyes, Lego still stayed true to that. And personally, the only reason why I didn't rank this Golden Lloyd minifigure any higher on this list is because of that dark green band that's on his ninja wrap. I feel like it adds a little bit too much green into the mix, and especially since we already have a minifigure in Legacy that is the Green Ninja Lloyd without him being gold like this. I think they could have scaled back a little bit on the green color, but nonetheless, it's still a really, really cool minifigure. Number 5. Up next on the list is another Retro Ninja. This is JDX here, and I love the dragon print on this guy. It's absolutely phenomenal. This was my favorite ninja minifigure for the longest time before it got surpassed by a few others you'll see later in this video. As far as the sets this guy came in, he came in two of them back in 2011, Skeleton Bowling and the Lightning Dragon Battle, which that set is still one of my favorites to this date for Ninjago. Now you guys may know that my favorite Ninjago Ninja is Jay, and I feel like I could be a little bit biased towards him, and so I wanted to throw in Kai DX here, because he seems to be the favorite out of the DX Ninjas, or at least that's what I've seen over the years, but I want you guys to vote once again with the poll on screen right now. Do you guys prefer the JDX minifigure or the Kai DX minifigure? Be sure to let me know with the poll on screen. Number 4. Next up, in my opinion, is one of the craziest LEGO Ninjago Ninja minifigures. This is Air Jitsu Cole, and just like the Cole RX that we looked at earlier in this video, he's rocking that crazy bright orange, but in more places than just his hands this time, it's all over this figure. Of course, the only way to obtain this minifigure was through his Air Jitsu Flyer back in the day in possession, and I feel like the simplistic color combinations of sticking to just orange and just black, as well as just the little bits of white in there, just work together very nicely to create a really crazy minifigure and a very appealing minifigure to look at. Not to mention that we get an all orange head with some crazy printing on there as well. Kind of reminds me of some of the Energy Ninja, in which you may see later on in this video as just a hint. But overall, I feel like LEGO did their best job on this Cole minifigure here, and practically, I'd have to say one of the best Cole minifigures we've ever gotten for Ninjago. Number 3. At number three, we have the original Lloyd ZX. This was the first green ninja minifigure that we were able to get. Everyone was super pumped about getting this figure. He came in two sets, including his spinner, as well as the epic dragon battle set, which was the largest set for the wave. The minifigure itself featured some new styles for the time, including the diamond patterns on the torso and legs, the different colored arms, as well as the gunmetal gray sword holder that he wears with the shoulder pads. The top of his ninja wrap also had this interesting looking texture on it that almost looked like a carbon fiber of such. It was quite unique at the time and gave him an interesting spin. Ultimately, not only is this minifigure very nostalgic to Ninjago fans, it also is a very nice looking figure. Number 2 Here's a minifigure you guys have probably seen on my channel before. This is the Energy J minifigure, and you guys probably know that I absolutely love this figure. This is by far the best J minifigure we have ever gotten. The printing on this thing is absolutely crazy, superb. I don't think LEGO could have done a better job with this figure. Not only that, this figure was also very hard to find in stores, or at least for me personally, the Energy J Spinner, which was the only set that this guy came in, was almost impossible to find at any store nearby me, and so I ended up ordering it. I got him, which is awesome, but I did have to pay a little bit more, but nonetheless, this guy was a fan favorite, I believe, at the time, just because of my experiences with not being able to find him in stores, and I mean, just look at the printing on this guy. is crazy. You got the back printing on there, and of course, the amazing sort of royal blue headpiece there with the printing. All the colors on this figure, the blue, the light blue, the like shiny metallic yellow on here is just perfect and I don't think LEGO could have done any better. And number one. 
coming in at the top spot on this list at number one as the best Ninjago Ninja minifigure is the original Golden Lloyd back from the final battle season of Ninjago in 2013. Otherwise referred to as the Ultimate Spinjitzu Master minifigure, this Lloyd figure definitely shined bright during its era. As far as how you could get this minifigure back in 2013, you could get him from the Temple of Light set, as well as the Golden Dragon, the original one, and the LEGO Dimensions Lloyd Fun Pack. For many of you watching this video right now, this probably didn't come as a surprise, and to be honest, I would have liked to put something surprising here at number one, but this is my favorite figure. And I feel like a lot of Ninjago fans agree with this statement as well, especially if you actually have this Golden Lloyd minifigure in your collection, this is definitely one of your favorites. Currently, this minifigure is valued around 10 to 20 US dollars on sites like eBay, and if you guys want to see the most valuable LEGO Ninjago minifigures, be sure to check out the video linked on screen right now, so you guys can check out all of them, because there are definitely more valuable ones than this Golden Lloyd minifigure. Due to how important Lloyd is for the storyline of Ninjago, I feel like I would definitely say that this Golden Lloyd minifigure, the original one here, is a must-have for all Ninjago fans. And with that, that's going to wrap up today's video, counting down the top 10 Ninjago Ninja minifigures. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to let me know with a like rating down below, and comment your favorite Ninjago Ninja minifigures as well. I'm very curious to see what your guys' favorites are, so be sure to let me know. That's going to wrap it up here. I'm Spitbricks. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new, so you not miss out on any further Ninjago action. And with that, I want to say have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video, coming very soon.